Hey everyone, Synthetic Future here, and welcome to the attic. As you can see, we've upgraded the quality a little bit here to make hopefully the videos look a lot better. And I'm also changing the format up a little to keep things uh, flowing and a little bit faster. And we'll split out the in-depth stuff into different videos. So to kick off this new look and this new um, way of doing the videos, I wanted to start off with a synthesizer review or overview from a synthesizer which I've been long hesitant to talk about because it's really complex so it should be a good benchmark for this series to see how things go. So today we're talking about uh, Unfiltered Audio's Lion. It's also behind me and it's also of course in the title. Um, Lion is what I would describe as a dual generator subtractive synthesizer with some modular elements. Uh, so it isn't a full modular synthesizer, uh, but it definitely has some elements of a modular synthesizer. Now to break this down, because that's a really long description of course, uh, we are going to look at the structure of this synthesizer and talk a little bit about its features. So in its core, um, it uses, uh, as Unfilled Audio says in their own manual, oscillators, which I think is a a little bit of a weird wording uh, because actually every oscillator can be as complex as an entire FM synthesizer. So I think it's better to use the word generator in this case because it generates sounds, but it isn't exactly just a simple oscillator. So to start off, uh, we have the per voice diagram here next to me. Um, you basically have the two oscillators or as I would call them generators which are being mixed together and fed through a filter. So in this sense, it looks a lot like your everyday uh, two oscillator, one filter kind of deal. Uh, it does have to be said that there are 26 different generators for uh, the oscillators. So every oscillator can be one of 26 different sound generators, which is a lot. Um, these sound generators range all the way from simple sine, square, saw uh, waveforms up to things like uh, FM synthesis, granular synthesis, and of course your noise generators. So these two generators are combined in the mixer. Now this mixer has eight different types of mixing, going from your classical linear mixing into really interesting and weird uh, experimental almost kind of algorithms to really change the sound up. So where most synthesizers, the mixer is something you probably won't ever really think about. You'll just put the levels together and it's done. In a Lion, this is actually one of the main places where you have a lot of space to experiment with your sound and uh, design your sounds. So that's one thing that really sets Lion apart. And from your uh, mixer, the sound's going into your filter. Now it has uh, a lot of different modes in the filter, ranging from all your standard low pass, high pass, and band pass, to more in-between options. It also has a boost, so you can really play with the sound there. Um, as you can see in this diagram here, this is a per voice operation, although it can also be switched to um, one single filter and FX trail for the F entire synthesizer, but you can also set it to a per voice basis, in which case you can imagine that it can get pretty complicated because every single voice will be going through the entire FX process, mixing process, adding a lot of depth to your sound. Lion uses the same effects as Biome, builds your own modular effects, also a plugin by Unfiltered Audio. Uh, this features over 40 plus effects modules, ranging from simple filters, distortion, chorus, flanger, uh, and some granular type of stuff. Uh, there's a lot to be unpacked there. I definitely recommend checking out the manual for all the different type of modules they have and all the features these modules have, because this in its own is a really powerful um, engine for effects. And it's of course supported by Unfiltered Audio's, well, pretty much unparalleled um, 
mod matrix, which has over 20 different modulators going from LFOs to envelope generators. You have some logic, uh, gates, step sequencers, all that sort of stuff. Uh, a quick note here is that Lion does support Unison and Stereo in its, all its generators. Um, it isn't, however, a waveform synthesizer. It does not support waveform, although some of the operators can switch between two different sounds, like there's an uh, oscillator which can go from a sine wave to a square wave or from a square wave to a saw wave, but you can't import any uh, waveforms into this synthesizer. Uh, also important to note is that this synthesizer does not work with samples. So if you're a heavily sample-based um, synthesizer user, I don't think this synthesizer is particularly interesting for you. Uh, although, of course, I would always encourage you to pick up the demo and try it for yourself to see how you like it. Another thing to mention is that Lion also supports MPE and microtonal tuning. So it's really uh, modern in that way. So if you have an MPE controller, you can totally use it. And if you're into microtonal uh, music, this is definitely an interesting synthesizer because it can do it by design. Uh, to start you off, you get 600 presets, uh, also from some uh, more well-known artists, uh, which range all the way from really simple sounds, uh, just your basic 808s and that sort of stuff, all the way up to very experimental, uh, soundscape -y sort of things. So this plugin retails for one of $199 XFAT. Uh, I personally picked it up when there was the introduction sale, um, with some Plugin Alliance vouchers, which brought the price down to $69 XFAT. So do keep in mind that my opinion is based on a lower purchase price than uh, you would buy it for now. Although that being said, Plugin Alliance does offer sales quite frequently. So if you're trying to be as uh, efficient with your money as possible and you're not really in need for a new synthesizer plugin, you can always wait for the next big holiday uh, and there's probably a sale going on. So definitely uh, would recommend subscribing to the Plugin Alliance newsletter because they always update you about all the sales which are going on. So that's really useful if you're looking for the synthesizer but you think the price is a little steep. So these are all the basic features of the Lion synthesizer with a little context and some uh, information about how it all fits together. Now, I personally had a little bit of a tough time picking up this synthesizer, mostly because I'm trying to keep the budget pretty tight. Uh, you would think otherwise with all this stuff here, but <laughs> I'm really, really tight on the budget, so I have to keep that in mind. And I want to have as little overlap between plugins as possible. So when I first read it was a double oscillator, single filter kind of deal, uh, to me it didn't seem very interesting, to be honest, because I already have a System 1, uh, I have a Turia Pigments, which can do that sort of thing. So at first glance I was like, I don't really need it. Um, however, once you get into the mixer with all different mix modes, uh, the modulation matrix, you'll see that there are a lot of opportunities to create sounds in ways which in other synthesizers might be challenging. Um, you could of course combine biome with other synthesizers and use a lot of the effects Line has, uh, but that does take away from the per voice nature of things, which uh, I found to be very interesting and very unique. Um, so for that reason, I would definitely recommend, even if you already have uh, this sort of synthesizer structure, just check out the demo. You can demo it for free on the Plugin Alliance website. So definitely check it out. I will be doing a follow-up video where we go more into depth, uh, do a little bit of sound design and look a little bit at how it works when you're working with it. Overall, I would say this is definitely one of those plugins which is unique enough to warrant a buy. Um, depending on your budget, you can either say I'll grab it right now because I want it, or you can wait for a sale. Uh, and you can also sign up to the Plugin Alliance Mega Bundle, 
in which case you'll pay a yearly fee to have access to all the plugins by Plugin Alliance, including Lion and a lot of the other Unfilled Audio stuff. So that concludes this video. I hope this gave you some information to go by. Um, stick around for a follow-up video with more screen cap stuff, going through some sounds, going through some sound design. Um, hit like if you like this video, please leave a comment if you have any tips or things you would like to see differently in this new format. Uh, you can always follow me on Instagram. I'm really active there, so you can see a lot of my music project there. Uh, ask questions, I always respond pretty quickly. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you around.